Look, look. Oh my goodness, B. Adorable pets are a social media favorite, from okay. cute puppies to funny kittens. But for some Instagram famous pets, timelines can stretch longer than their lifelines. Good girl. Good girl. Courtney Advarhazi's wolf dog, Phoenix, looks exactly like her first dog, Willow. And that is no coincidence. Willow was just insanely special. She was my soul dog. I wanted her bloodline and her legacy to continue. So when Willow passed away after being hit by a car four years ago, her vet harvested a skin sample. Nine months later, six clones of Willow were born through a process similar to IVF. A cloned embryo grows in the uterus of a surrogate dog. Phoenix is not Willow reincarnated. She's more like an identical twin born after the fact. That's how genetically similar those two dogs are. I went into it with zero expectation. I knew that it would be similar to identical twins in humans. Completely different animal, completely different soul, completely different personality, but genetically identical. All made possible through Viagen Pet and Equine a Texas-based company that clones cats, dogs, and horses. Since 2015, they have cloned more than a 1,000 animals. There are a handful of our clients that have a social media presence that's definitely going to grow. But cloning a beloved animal does not come cheap, costing $35,000 for cats, $50,000 for dogs, and $85,000 for horses. Even storing cells will set you back several hundred dollars per year. Someone might go out and find a lot of value in buying a car. I found a lot of value in carrying on a piece of my cat. Kelly Anderson cloned her cat, Chai, featured in her social media account after an unexpected and early death. I was grieving my cat at the time, so social media was not the priority in my head at all. The process took about four years, longer than usual. I got up to probably like 85,000, maybe 90,000. I'm at 65,000. I lost a good chunk of followers. Both Udvar Hazi and Anderson monetize their social media accounts, though neither one of them says they rely solely on that income. And critics of pet cloning abound. The ASPCA cites welfare concerns, and many pet rescue advocates oppose the practice. But Viagen tells critics that cloned pets are cherished. These are very special pets that the client loves above everything else, and it's a member of the family for them. Udvar Hazi says cloning is a one-time experience. A lot of people are like, oh, it's disrespectful to the dog's life that you did that, you're playing God and all of these things. And I understand that perspective as well. I don't believe that cloning should become a trend. I hope it doesn't, pray it doesn't, because I don't think it's something that should be overused or overdone. We all think our pets are special. Now, the question is whether we should all have access to special science to keep a part of them with us. You guys, everyone we spoke to for this story had the same conflicted instinct about this technology. When we asked them, you know, should everyone be allowed to do this, they essentially said no. This should be heavily regulated by the government and really only reserved for very special cases like their case, right? So it really shows that we are very conflicted when it comes to being restrained about the use of ethically cutting edge science and technology like this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes, we're stunned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's different. I couldn't even articulate my opinion I mean, on the matter could, because though. it's just so convoluted. I don't even know how it works. Well, yeah, I don't feel that conflicted about it, no. actually, but okay. But as, yeah. as a pet person who has, yes. not that I would ever do this, yes. but as my dog gets older, it's heartbreaking to think when Bosco, you know, will one day pass away. And yes. If I had to do it all over again. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. I don't, I don't. But if you I call an animal, it. why do you give it a new name? Don't you want the, don't you want, I, I, I'm just saying, yeah, that's, I didn't get that, but. Okay, okay well. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> thank you, Jake. Well, coming up next. Is it really Jake? <laughs> <laughs> if you're, it looks like it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.